again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 8th of March, 2019. Article posted on March the 8th, 2019. Washington Examiner. Title Obama, there's hope if we can train a million Barack's and Michelle's. The video that I'm posting on this is titled God Forbid. This is written by Daniel Chaitin at C H A I T I N. Originally published on March the 4th. Winnipeg, Canada. Former President Barack Obama said Monday, These are challenging times, but he remains hopeful because of the next generation of leaders that he aims to guide. <coughs> Touching on his third act, as the 44th President spoke of programs that had become a central pillar of the Obama Foundation and its $500 million Presidential Center project in Chicago. This is nothing more than a glorified mosque. He told the packed arena at Bell MTS Place how he plans to create a university for social change. Isn't that what a mosque's all about? That will serve as the hub for young people in the U.S. and around the world who are skeptical of the old institutions. Quote, if we train them, if we give them skills, support, financing, media training, spotlights, then they're the ones that are going to carry forward the solution that we so desperately need, Obama said. Hey, Obama, what solution, huh? What kind of solution? Didn't you say we're five days away from fundamentally transforming America? You're still trying to transform it, aren't you? He then amplified a vision he shared in Japan last year in which the new global class of future leaders are molded in his or his wife Michelle Obama's image. There is no Michelle. You mean Big Mike? Huh? Quote, if we could form a network of these young leaders, not just in the United States but around the world, then we've got something, he said, adding if we can train a million Barack's <coughs> and Michelle's, you mean Big Mike's, who are running around thinking they can change the world. Hope is achievable. Here's that hope and change bullshit again, huh? Loud applause ensued. Obama also spoke about his two terms as president and his relationship with Canada and its leaders. Well. Justine Trudeau and Barack, huh? Both of them are whacked. Long plus discussions with moderator Michael Burns, the former CEO of the Invictus Games. He didn't talk directly about his successor in the White House, President Trump, or the 2020 election, but he did take a jab at Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Republican Kentucky, provided a clue about how soon he might complete his first book since leaving the office, and shared his admiration for Joe Biden. Admiration, my ass. Joe Biden was there just because he was picked by Obama, knowing that Joe Biden was a yes man, who was his vice president and is now looking at a bid for president. Yeah, an 80-year-old guy is going to run for president in 2020, right? Obama will continue his tour through Canada on Tuesday with speaking events in Vancouver and Calgary. Why would any Canadian want to listen to this dirtbag talk, huh? Absolutely insane. I'll attach the link. There's a series of links you might want to sort of take a look at embedded. Absolutely crazy. He's building a $500 million mosque. That's what he's building. Totally nuts. You want to repost this in your social media accounts? You want to pass it along to your like-minded friends? Ask them to do the same. You might want to send a copy of this to Big Mike. Huh? <laughs> you don't know who Big Mike is. You're not watching Zona Report. Thanks for listening.